response to a letter entitled The One Hundred Greatest Men. Response by Samuel Clemens. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Response to a letter entitled One Hundred Greatest Men. Response by Samuel Clemens. From a gentleman in Buffalo, Clemens one day received a letter, enclosing an incompleted list of the world's one hundred greatest men, men who had exerted the largest visible influence on the life and activities of the race. The writer asked that Mark Twain examine the list and suggest names, adding, quote, Would you include Jesus as the founder of Christianity in the list? To the list of statesmen, Clemens added the name of Thomas Paine. To the list of inventors, Edison and Alexander Graham Bell. The question he answered in detail. 2. Buffalo, New York Private Reading, Connecticut, August 28, 1908 Dear Sir, by private I mean don't print any remarks of mine. I like your list the quote, largest visible influence. These terms require you to add Jesus, and they doubly and trebly require you to add Satan. From A.D. 350 to A.D. 1850, these gentlemen exercised a vaster influence over a fifth part of the human race than was exercised over that fraction of the race by all other influences combined. Ninety-nine hundredths of this influence proceeded from Satan, the remaining fraction of it from Jesus. During those fifteen hundred years, the fear of Satan and hell made ninety-nine Christians where love of God and heaven landed one. During those fifteen hundred years, Satan's influence was worth very nearly a hundred times as much to the business as was the influence of all the rest of the holy family put together. You have asked me a question, and I have answered it seriously and sincerely. You have put in Buddha, a god with a following at one time greater than Jesus ever had, a god with perhaps a little better evidence of his godship than that which is offered for Jesus's. How then in fairness can you leave Jesus out? And if you put him in, how can you logically leave Satan out? Thunder is good, thunder is impressive, but it is the lightning that does the work. Very truly yours, S. L. Clemens. End of Samuel Clemens's response to a letter, the one hundred greatest men. Recording by Robert Scott. Mojo Move four one one dot com M O J O M O V E four one one dot com September the eleventh, two thousand and seven.